adenosine, right, is a transglycosylating agent. So the vi vision is very complex. Old people vision, which is called presbyopia, which is the inability to focus up close, right? Everyone pulls out their, their reading glasses in restaurants, and you're probably too young for that, but all of my cadre do, except me. <laughs> the lens gets old for several reasons, one of which is it gets glycosylated, which means AGEs land on it and just gets very stiff. And carnosine is a known transglycosylating agent, so it can actually help reverse the stiffness, which makes focusing significantly easier. So carnosine eye drops are extremely popular. There, there are many, many brands that make it. Um, the problem is most of the brands burn a little bit, so people don't like it. But there are one or two that uh, make it so that they don't burn. And, and obviously, I use those. Visomitten is a completely different idea. Visomitten is an SKQ1 uh, system. So it's basically a mitochondrial activator, a free radical scavenger, incredibly potent. Unfortunately, they come from Russia. For a while, you could get them and it was super easy, but that is more retinal-based versus lens-based. So it's completely separate, but still incredibly good for your vision. There's always like the big ones, and then there's more you can throw in there, right? Lutenin sure. is, is important. There's zeaxanthin. All the xanthins are extremely good for vision. So if you think about your retina, and I'm always, it's just amazing to me, right? Um, all the things we don't like about tissue is oxygen use and glycosylation, right? That's That'll kill you. This is what gets focused in your in, in your eyeball, right? The retina, every, light not only is there, it gets focused there. So huge influx of free radicals that are just gonna like sort of kibotch your, your retina over the course of time. And, and glucose, right? Your retina has more mitochondria and more glucose utilization because it's an incredibly energy intensive system. So we seriously need to protect it. And of course the blood flow to your retina is not so great, especially to your lens. There's very little flow to your lens. So these are areas that just absolutely must be protected. And I kind of consider like vision sort of like the canary in the coal mine, right? Everyone assumes their vision is gonna sort of like drop with age. And it is one of the first things because it's just gonna take the biggest hit. The good news of course, is we have tools to sort of prevent that.